One of the world's most important observatories that tries to solve some of the mysteries of the universe is now trying to solve a mystery of its own. Why did a thick steel cable suddenly snap, damaging a key instrument? The Arecibo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico is now silent as a result. It's been a backdrop for Hollywood films, like the 1997 sci-fi drama Contact. Isn't she a beauty? It'll do. And it's where James Bond stopped the villain in the climactic scene of Goldeneye. But Puerto Rico's Arecibo Observatory is more than just a scene stealer. It's home to one of the world's largest radio telescopes, acting as a giant ear to our universe. Until this week. On Monday morning, the facility was forced to close down after a cable supporting a metal platform above the telescope fell, tearing a 100-foot-long gash in the giant reflector dish. The cable didn't really uh, break in the sense of, of a cable kind of snapping, but it just sort of slipped from its socket, which is an even weirder condition. So we're still trying to get our engineering team to make assessments of that to understand the, the, the root cause. The telescope, located in the middle of a forest, listens for radio signals from galaxies near and far. It's contributed to numerous breakthroughs in astronomy and played a major role in the SETI program, the search for intelligent life, even used by famed Cornell astronomer Carl Sagan to send an interstellar message. But now radio communication, both incoming and outgoing, will be silent for a while. Observatory technicians have been working around the clock trying to get the telescope back online, but it probably won't be a quick fix. We still don't know. We're still making assessments, trying to understand really what caused the failure, making sure that we're restoring the structural capabilities. So at this point, we don't really have a clear timeline on when that is going to happen. Since it was built in 1963, the observatory has survived terrestrial hazards like hurricanes, tropical storms, and earthquakes. But it is otherworldly threats the telescope is on the lookout for, tracking asteroids that could endanger our planet. It's also been part of the search for other planets that may be able to sustain life. All reasons why the scientific community hopes it is back up and running soon. We'll find a way to repair uh, this particular issue and continue to move forward. We've overcome a lot in our 50 year history from Hurricane Maria to a very recent rash of earthquakes to now this. So we're a pretty resilient bunch down here and we're going to figure out a way to continue to move forward doing exciting science for the world. One of those places you haven't heard of, but you've seen before, and you know it as soon as you exactly. watch it on camera there. Yeah, I'm, glad, so important. I'm glad that there are people that are much smarter than I to deal with all, <laughs> Trying to all of this. Yes. yes, indeed, that's exactly right. <laughs> Yeah, Carl Sagan opened my eyes to SETI and certainly in contact. The movie, it was a joy to see. It's gorgeous. I hope they do get it fixed. 